Yep. All right, so this is gold. Nothing's changed. The overall trend is going up. Nice buy position yesterday uh, and, and Monday, actually. Today is Wednesday. So this is today, yesterday, the day before. Um, 1,890 was the weekly level. And it just they just bought it above that. So 1,891.24. So it's, it was a good level to get in there. Um, so I got in, I got in on gold because I do gold a lot um, yesterday from around here um, and around here actually. 1,900 was the range I got into. Went up nicely, um, you know. Um, so hopefully this will carry on going up. Um, and if this breaks out, you see the targets we've got up here, all right? Um, like I said, this is the weekly, so it, it might just do, you know, this, go straight up, it might just shoot up, okay? Um, or it might just take its time, and, you know, do up and down, up and down, up and down kind of thing. But because we've got elections, I'm thinking it'll be more, you know, it'll be sharp up moves because we've got elections coming up. So um, we should have, gold pushing up uh, nicely. Even if the market comes up, I think there'll be nice pushes going up all the way back to 2000s again. So we've got some good opportunities here to make some money on gold. Yeah. Um, and stop me if you have any questions. Yeah, I'm just, you know, flowing with it. Um, and then we've got the SP500. So this also we're in sell, sell mode. This week it can come all the way down to here. Um, not a problem. Um, if it does, um, this is okay. So this is not a good spot to be selling, obviously, because we're right on the support line. Right, so we don't want to be selling here. We want to carry on selling, that's for sure. But would like, you know, would like the market to pop its head up a little bit. Now with the indices, we've got to be a bit careful because of the elections. Um, because of the elections, everything is going to be a bit weird. Um, it, we, and we might get a choppy condition. We might even get a stupid rally going all the way back up again. Okay, because you know, people think things are going to go back to normal and the economy will go back to normal and stuff like that. So we might still have this silly up move that, that the market might do. If they do that, we've got to be cautious about it. And you know, if we understand it's doing something crazy like that, going up, up, and up, it's just best to sit back and wait. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, and if it does get to a resistance, though, we we can actually sell it off again, not a problem. Uh, but because of the elections, we just need to be mindful about volatility. You know, because the market might be going up one day, down sharply the other day, the next day up again sharply down. You know, it just might do some some uh, moves that are not anticipated. Um, but general direction is down. So when it raises its head up, um, it's still possible to short. I'd just be shorting with smaller lot sizes than usual. And if there's a break out going upwards, I just sit and, sit and wait to, you know, to understand what's going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the indices. Um, let's take a look at the Aussie 200. Um, so this trade worked out fine, the Aussie 200. Um, it's the first time I did an Aussie 200 trade. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so this worked out fine. So all we have to do is just follow it through now here. This is the weekly chart. Just be mindful on the price we're at the support. Okay, yeah. Remember, we we looked at pullbacks in channels. Okay, so this is a channel, and you'll note that this is about fifty percent. So, right there. See, resistance, resistance, support. Uh, so this, is, yeah. this is about halfway down. Um, so in the oops, so in the market is selling off from the tops, which is fine. Uh, we just want to be careful on the retracement levels where the market you know, made support resistance before. So it's not a wonder the market is stopping here. Do we have room to come down? Yeah, we do. 
but it might pull back before it does that. Okay, so you know, selling right at the bottoms is not a good idea. This is not a bad spot to sell. It pulled back to the red line. This is a good uh, retracement. And then we can probably follow this down to here. The daily pivot is also here. All right. Now, if the price is above the daily pivot, um, some food for thought here. If the market went above the daily pivot, um, just be mindful on your on your selling because it's above the week. Uh, it's above the daily pivot. This will also be a support line. So it kind of broke above, and now it's using that as a support. So this might be like a sandwich zone. You know, the market doesn't really know what's going to happen. And if that daily pivot is used as a support, they might just push it up because the target for this resistance lines breakout is all the way here. All right. Yeah. However, though, you can sit and wait. If it goes below the daily, then moves up, then you can sell it there. And then you need to cover the trade around here just above the white line. Yeah. All right. And then if it breaks the white line as well, even better, it'll probably push down more. Okay. So we've got room to come down, but this daily pivot in here is a bit of a sandwich zone. Um, in the long term, though, you know, if it moves up again, we just want to be sellers. So this zone, anywhere on the tops or on Fibonacci retracements, I think we can sell. You can also do a nice Fibonacci retracement here. If we assume that the market will not come down, okay, then we can you know, assume we're gonna have a pullback. So we wouldn't short it today, but we'll just wait for a pullback. Now look, see how the market broke down and it made the blue dotted lines here. Yeah. So the market came to its daily breakout daily charts breakout target the first target at least okay so that's 37 where is it 3786 5983 so it already did a target so selling again here when it already made a target might be a bit risky yeah mm -hmm. yeah definitely. And, it, and if you look back here this is where they bought before so think of think of the pst like a price chart Right. So it's like a support on the strength of the market on volatility. So this market, so the market could actually go up today's Wednesday. We could actually have a few days of going up, coming to this goodbye kiss here. And if it does a goodbye kiss on this line here on the PST, we definitely want to sell it again. Right. Yeah. So it might be worth just waiting to see if it'll pop its head up. If it does that, just short it again. All right, but selling it when it made a target is just a bit risky and not worth, you know, not really worth taking the risk. Um, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Any any questions on that? If you have any questions or whatever, just stop me whenever. No, that was right. I was just I was going to ask you about that support on the daily. Um, I think that's pretty straightforward. I think we'll be in for a few days of sitting around the same yeah. spot, maybe a bit of a retracement. That's right, exactly. Um, now, on the Aussie dollar as well. Now, we've got the channel coming down, but we also have the side channel formation now. All right, so two bottoms and a top, right? So we might see the Aussie dollar going up a bit, once again, until the elections, right? And let me just get rid of this, yeah. Until the elections, we might see this mark, see the Aussie dollar going up and the US dollar weaken with the elections until the elections. And then after the elections, we'll just see a reversal of this trend. So if the, mar the market has the potential to come up here, now look, the breakout of this resistance, it looks like a legitimate breakout, the red arrow, okay, might come all the way up to here. So just because we've got a channel here shorting this heavy is not a good idea. The market will want to short because of this line here. They'll say this is a resistance line, okay? But we need to be a bit more smart than the average guy. And we need to make sure 
if you're going to short it on that line here, all right, just do it with a smaller lot size. Yeah. Right? Or if you're going to short it, let it come up and then wait for a U-turn, see if it chucks a U. Right. It, and whether if it's at the channel top or something, you know, like here's a channel that we drew before. So if it comes up there, if it is at a channel top, is it at a weekly level? You know, is it worth selling here? Is it is it in a you know, is it at a level? Is it at a target? Is it matching my PST? You know what I mean? Just put a few things together when you're going to do that trade. Because if you put the few things together, you'll probably get a sell reaction. And that reaction should cover the trade. And even if it goes bad afterwards, you've still got some money in the bank. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's the Aussie dollar for you. Um, if, if it does go up, it be it'll make it'll do us a good favor, basically. Uh, if it raises its head up again and gets up there, it'll be doing us a favor. But we really want to sell this hardcore um, if it goes up, especially after the election. Yeah, right. Eh? That's probably a better one to wait and see until mid next week. Yeah. All right, any questions other than that or anything about the strategy, the indicator, is everything working okay? Um, I oh, only have a quick one is on those angle on the support and resistance or the channels yeah. with the PSD. Yeah. Um, with the, uh, it's pretty straightforward, I guess, with the price because um, it's on the angle, it's, sort of, it's variable, isn't it? Um, yeah, the yeah. price, like, sometimes, yeah. yeah, sometimes the price and the PSD they won't match, okay? So they won't, but this it's not a bad thing. The reason is this sometimes it'll match, sometimes it won't. If it matches, great, okay? Let me show you the example here. This is the gold daily. Remember, we said this might change tomorrow. Yesterday, we had a look at it and we said, according to what will happen today, it'll change. So the market did change, and yesterday it was something like this whoops like this but just a second yesterday it was like this or something like that all right and once the market changed conditions now today it's like this now if you think about it this is 44 46 1893 and this is also 1893 okay so they match okay price and pst matches today you know, if the market did come back down to that level, oh my goodness, just a second, let me just refresh this. If the market did come back to this level, let me just do back and forth so this settles down a little bit. There you go. So this level today, this would be a great place to buy. 1893 because the PST matches the price, okay? If it didn't match like here on the weekly, on the weekly it says, listen, price support 1890, but on the PST it's 52.91, which is 1880. So there's about 10 bucks difference, okay? So on gold, that's quite a bit, you know, 10 bucks difference. So what you would do in a situation like this, you could go here, you could buy here, all right? Because the market sees this. So the market sees this line and they say this is a good place to buy from a price point of view. But sometimes, you know, the market does, does well, whipsaws and it goes up and down as a spike, okay? And when it does that spike, you'll generally see that it does it on the PST. It'll come to the PST and then it'll just take off from there. Okay, and nobody yeah. in, the, in the market really understands why the price went down another 10 bucks to come back up again, <clears throat> because nobody is trading with volatility. You know, yeah. not, a, not a lot of people are trading with volatility. Um, some people are, obviously we are. <laughs> okay. So if we're doing it, somebody else is probably also doing it. But so, so when the PSD is showing me a price as well, I'm always keeping it in mind. I'm always keeping it in consideration. And if the market did come down here, I would not say this is breaking down. I'd say the opposite. 
this is a good buy opportunity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing now. Also, as you can see, the resistance line here. Now, the high that it made here is 57.09. Okay. And 56.37 is the line. So it went above that. Not a great deal. Okay. It's not a huge breakout, but it's already giving us signs that it's creeping up. So that yeah. sign is good. So it's creeping up little by little, little by little. And on the one hour chart, all we have to do really is just wait for a breakout. Once it breaks above the 1914, because on the weekly, that's 1913 there, right? So once it breaks above this price here, then you're really set to go on any pullback. You can just go long because we're probably going to come all the way back up to 1929. And that's logical because the daily um, price is 1930. And on the PST, it's also 1927 and, uh, and 1930. Yeah. So once it breaks above that level, then it's pretty much you know above the 1914, then it's pretty much like we're going up. Do you know what I mean? So using the PST and the price in that way, you can just wait for a breakout and then, okay, everything is breaking out, pull back and then just keep going up, up, up until you get to 1929. And then you can just take your profits from there and just game over. And then once the market gets there, it'll probably pull back, you'll probably get some sell reaction. Um, and then you can look for a new setup to go long again because market would be going long now okay because it broke out yes so um this is why you know following the longer term time frame is really important because then you've got the longer time frame targets and you know we've got a much higher potential to go beyond the 1930 but you understand you're gonna probably get some resistance there so take some profit there if it does pull back just keep going up yeah, yeah. All right. No, that was that was about it. Um, yeah. So now I've made some bit of money on that Aussie two hundred one, so that was good. That's good. Okay, good. Me too. <laughs> and I've, yeah, I've got in on gold. Um, I did get in at eighteen eighty nine, but I've um, I took the profit yesterday. I think at the nineteen ten. That's good. Um, but I've, yeah, I got another one in at 19, uh, 1901, I think, last night when it was down. Good, good, very good. So we'll see what they do. Okay, sounds good, mate. But you understand the rhythm now, yeah? It's like when you look at the longer term time frame, it becomes more obvious. So you understand, you know, the direction and everything. And then it just makes sense on the smaller time frame to get in in the best spot for the day. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then even I've still got I've still got like a normal plane chart that I look at a fair bit. Um, and now we've been doing it a little while. Like on the on the Aussie two hundred, like there's a couple of lines that we drew, yeah, months ago or whatever that are, are starting to touch them. Like they reacted to them as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, great, yeah. great. All we've got to do is just flow with the rhythm of the market and use money management. And we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then, mate. I'll see you then tomorrow. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Have a good one. Yeah.